so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So hey, y'all, we're going to jump right in. This is my favorite day. I've been waiting for today. This is the one right here. This is the one that breaks down the title of this entire prophetic dream. I have been getting some feedback and I was told that some of you have been fully relating and I'm so glad. I know for some of you it's not, but again, every word is not for everybody. Y'all know the drill, run it through, bring it back to the Lord. Any, any prof, any person who gives a prophetic word or anyone who is sharing a word like this from the Lord. Again, let me tell y'all two things. There are prophets and then also everyone has the ability to prophesy. I would encourage you to study and to learn that. And again, remember, it doesn't matter what your giftings are. God is no respecter of persons. And lastly, I'd like to say that if someone is on a platform giving a word, they would have no problem with you running that word right back to the father so that, you know, everything can be decent and in order. If they, if they try to combat you or say, don't do this or you're wrong or whatever, that should be a red flag because anybody who is in service to, to the Lord. Their focus is to make sure they get those words out and they do the things that God wants them to do the way in which he wants it done. So if you are receiving a prophetic message or listening to one, please do not be afraid. I encourage you. It doesn't matter who it is. Say, Lord, is this from you? Is it from me? And he'll tell you all of that in his own way, in his own time. However you communicate with the father best, he's going to make sure you have that clarity. Okay. So now let me give you guys the words, I'm going to call out the words and you do what you will with it. God just said to, to mention the words that I've been using over these last uh, four episodes. And then you just, you run it back to him. It might be a word that you've been hearing in your spirit or something that keeps coming up that God may want you to plug in and listen to that particular word. Cause maybe all of it is not for you. They might all be for you. So I'm just going to do that in obedience. Okay. So part one of the prophetic dream, the three words that I focused on was shock service and support part two was ancestors anger and answers part three was covenant crisis and character now that leads us to today okay so today's three words are quiet quest and quickly now let's break this down now if you if you peep in game if y'all see the imagery that i have on here there's been the goal bread on all of the images but today the image is different i don't know if you caught that or not right but today the image is different so i'm going to break this down to you so check this out so if you remember in the second dream i was explaining to you guys how i think it was the second one the second part of the dream it might be the first y'all i don't know you would have to check but i was telling y'all how happy feelings was playing by Maze and frankie beverly so there was a band playing it was music going right so everything was popping. So we, we, we picking up from that point. If you heard the last dream, I talked to, excuse me, the last video, I'm sorry, y'all same dream. I meant to break these down in videos, forgive me. But in the last video, I was talking to you guys about what happened when the old man came and was like, yeah, like it's going to rain, like it's going to rain on your head, you know? And my friend was like, mm, no, it's not as beautiful. And then it started raining. Make sure you go back and check that out. Cause that ended up being a beautiful blessing in disguise as well. So after all of that happened, we left off where my family and her family, we were dancing in the rain. We was like, forget that. We finna have a party. We not going nowhere. Because once we realized, I believe that man that was in the dream represented God. Once, once he said, hey, the blessings are in the rain. Like sometimes in the crisis, sometimes when it's going down, sometimes when it's pouring, the Lord got a blessing brewing and you can't run from it. Because my friend's whole disposition was, well, man, no, it's beautiful. Like, we don't want any rain. Everything is going just fine. But the man gently said, yeah, just because it raining, it's raining, it doesn't mean that everything is still not going to be dope. It doesn't still mean that it's, you know, it doesn't mean that it's not going to be fire and, and y'all can't still have a good time. He's like, yeah, but pretty much, hey, don't you shun that rain was basically what he was saying. So the executive decision was made for us to stay. And my friend said when she looked up, it was me. And my family, her and her family. So our people stayed. So everybody who was connected to us directly, 
They stayed. Now y'all catch that. Now watch this part. So, like I said, the music was going, but all of a sudden, when the rain started, the band left. There was no more music left. Happy feelings, all that was gone. All the music was gone. But guess what, y'all? We were still dancing in the rain, having the time of our lives. But the music stopped. So hear me out. This is for the first cue. God is about to make it quiet. All wild things are going on. The same stuff is going on. Let's say you at a party and y'all know everybody want the DJ to keep going. You're like, hey, hey, you know, hey, you know, everybody getting it, everybody getting it, right? But then the music stops. I'm like, oh man, you know, why the music stop? No. Well, imagine you're somewhere and the music is bumping. And everybody like, yeah, we getting it, we getting it. And then all of a sudden the music stopped. But then y'all still like, hey, 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 hey. Y'all start going a cappella. So that's what it's like. Imagine you somewhere and instead of you scream and shoot the DJ or you getting mad at the DJ, y'all still bumping. Y'all still in that mug just getting it. Just like. The music was still going. There was no question. I mean, you in that mug getting down like it's a whole bop playing, like your favorite song just going, right? So this is what happened in the dream with us, right? And so the music stopped and God made it quiet, but we just kept having fun. So hear me out. For those of you who are in this season where it seemed like the music stopped, the rain started, Excuse me, what it seems like the music stopped and the rain started, but you're still making the best of it. You're still smiling. You're still getting it. You're still enjoying it. God is going to make that thing quiet. Now, this is what's going to happen once you get quiet. Y'all ready for this? I couldn't wait for this. This is the best part. So my friend says, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up in her voice. So when she says I, she's talking about her. When I say you, I'm talking about me because I was physically in her dream. Okay. Check this out. She says, once the band left and the music stopped, we were still having the time of our lives. Then the rain changed. She said, I thought it was hell. A few more people ran off. And I was like, bruh, me Robin in my typical voice. I'm like, girl, open your basket and catch it. She was like, what girl? What? I said, open your basket and catch it. When she opened her basket, it looked like breadcrumbs was falling from the sky. Then she looked at me and she said, what is going on? We looked up at the sky and all over the park, the bread just kept falling out of the sky. Then I said to her, no, look, look in your basket. Y'all, as the bread hit our baskets, it turned into gold coins. <laughs> Y'all, I, I would have shouted and screamed. I did it already when I first heard it, but that's I'm still feeling the same way. It turned into gold coins, y'all. Oh, my God. Listen, it turned into gold coins. Now, listen to this part. This is very, very, this is very, very key. Before we get to this next cue, okay? Here it is. She says she told all the people there to catch the bread, but they didn't have baskets. So it would just land on them. Then I walked up to her and said, no, sis, we have to catch it. And then we'll be able to give it to them all. For some of you, once God makes you quiet, God is going to send you on a quest. Because right then, I got chills, right then, God gave us clear instruction to pick up, take the bread, which turned into gold coins, and collect them for other people. Oh, Lord, y'all got, man, my God. I really genuinely hope whoever this is for, please contact me. You got to tell me, because y'all, it's so much stuff, too, that I'm not saying. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know also, because I know it's going to be at least two of you that contact me. And there's some other details that when you tell me your confirmation, I'm going to confirm to you the details that I was not allowed to say publicly. And then that's just going to be more confirmation for the person who's led by the spirit and is hearing this dream um, prophetically for your own situation. Now, let me help you all out. A quest is a journey made in search of something, right? 
Guess what the example was in a dictionary? They went on a quest for gold. <laughs> Listen, so some of you, you've been getting that nudge where God has been quiet. How many of you are hearing this and saying, man, I've been praying, I've been praying and God just been quiet. Well, let me tell you, if you have gotten quiet, more than likely God is about to send you on a journey, a journey in search of something. Now, I'm not sure what your journey is going to look like, but I have it on good authority. If you have been feeling like God has been trying to move in a way where you have been lacking finances, where you have been lacking abundance and y'all lacking period, but in a place where you feel like it's underwhelming, like you're like, my God, like when will, when will there be some type of shift? When will there be some type of change? If you are feeling like that, Okay, God is preparing you for a journey and you will be in search of something. And I can tell you something, the way that goal and that bread was set up, y'all got to catch this. That bread, she thought the bread was something else. She was like, man, this thing to turn into something else. It looked like bread crumbs. Then when, when she started paying attention, it wasn't bread crumbs. It was actual bread. And then when the bread actually hit the basket, it turned into gold. So y'all, let's go back to the for, to the part three. Remember when the old man came and told her, he was like, hey, don't run from the rain, sis. Because this could be a blessing in disguise. He said, too many people busy running. Y'all remember that part? If not, go back and play it. I said it twice. You're too busy running from the blessings. You're too busy. You're too busy running from the blessings. Come on. Because guess what that old man knew? He knew them crumbs was going to turn into bread and the bread was going to turn into gold coins. He knew that. So he was gently trying to warn her, hey, listen, I know it don't look like nothing right now. I know it looked crazy. I know this not how it was. Everything was set up. It was beautiful. The sun was shining. Music was bumping. The band was playing. Everything was all good. What is the moral to the story right here, y'all? Even when it's not all good and the music stopped playing and it gets quiet, you can still dance in the rain because if you stay in the rain in the midst of the crisis long enough and you understand in crisis who Christ is, guess what? Your bread, your manna, your, your water, the rain from heaven going to turn into manna, which is crumbs, which is bread. And then the bread is going to turn into gold. I think you need to understand that from a different vantage point too. Hear me out. Some of you are working on something right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm just getting this right now. Some of you are working on something right now and you literally can't see that it's golden. You can't see that it's golden. You can't see that it's golden. But there's a double meaning here. Remember how I said just a moment ago that a bunch of people still started running off once the rain started and the rain wasn't looking like rain? God is going to make sure that there'll, there'll be people that don't belong while they see you in your storm and they run from you. Who Jesus, they got people that see you in your storm and they ran from you because it didn't look lucrative. <laughs> it looked wet. What happened when you, when, when you get wet in rain, you start smelling bad, your clothes wet, your hair wet. It's like, Ugh, I need a shower. I need dry clothes. And you want to know what God is getting rid of the people who said, "Ugh." She needed a shower. She needed dry clothes. I'm not getting in the rain with her. I'm not getting in the rain with him. Ew, I didn't come here for that. I wanted to hear Maze and Frankie Beverly, and I wanted to do this and this. See? Yeah. Okay, then. Catch that. Okay? Catch that. God getting rid of them folks. He getting, he getting rid of them folks who only like it when it's dry and popping and the music bumping. Okay? He getting rid of them folks. He getting rid of them. So don't feel bad. All the people who dipped out in your crisis, don't feel bad. And, and hear me out. Some of y'all are real bitter with people because, okay, hold on, y'all. Divine interruption. Hold on. I don't know who you are listening to this, but God is not pleased with how ugly and nasty, oh my God, how ugly and nasty you are being to somebody. You keep looking at them doing stuff. I don't know. Show me, Holy Spirit. I don't know if they posting something. I don't know if you live with them or are around them and you're seeing something. I, I don't know in what medium you're seeing them. I don't know if it's like, if it's virtually or if it's physically in real life, I don't know, but you are making some very wrong and harsh 
judgments about them because you feel they need to be doing something the way you think. You better tread lightly, my friend. Yo, when I tell again, I got chills up my arms, both of them bad boys. You better relax. You better stop that. God ain't pleased with you with that. You got your mouth on that person. You don't know what you're looking at. Just like the people in the dream. See, that's why the Lord just gave me that. He didn't give me that when I wrote my notes the other day. I, he didn't give me that. That's not what he gave me. I'm giving you fresh off the dome. This is exactly what he's giving me as we're speaking right now, y'all. Hear me out. Yo, and even if and some of y'all have a friend that's near who they keep dragging somebody. If you hear this, you, be, you need to send them this. You need to send them this or you need to let them know, hey, man, look, you, you might want to stop that. Because this is what God is showing me. Whatever you think is going on, number one, it's not your business. I hate to be raw like that, but it's not your business. You're mad because you don't know. Stop that. It's not your business. If they wanted to let you know, they would let you know. And who's to say they won't let you know at some point? Keep your mouth off people. See, let me pray right quick. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we just want to cover everyone involved. Whoever is being uh, spoken ill about or who is being mishandled by something that someone is seeing, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you cover them. And Lord, we pray for the person who is causing the offense, who keeps the conversations going, who keeps with the misconceptions and, and saying these awful things and, and, and feeling away and they really don't know what's going on. I want to just pray, Lord, that you intervene and intercede so that you can reset them because we don't want nobody to miss their blessings. We know one one is one is doing whatever you're leading them to do and the other one is not necessarily meaning any harm, but we can see in the spirit realm is causing harm. So God, we just ask Lord Jesus that you just do a divine interruption and reset all parties involved. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Y'all, I just felt that thing so crazy. That is weird as a mug, boy. I just felt that thing out of nowhere. Yeah, please, y'all. It's not that's not cool, man. <laughs> y'all gotta relax, man. Yeah, and not y'all, not, not everybody. I know it's not all y'all, but you know, for those of you who are doing that, man, you gotta stop that. And I'm gonna tell you something else. You need to get to the root of that. Because I'm quite sure it's something else you could probably be talking about or something else you could be doing. Don't you let the devil get you in a headlock. Don't you be doing all good, doing all your good stuff for the Lord, and then you get caught up in this trap. Just leave people alone, man. Because you nobody else might know, might not know, but God knows. And if you don't have to tell me nothing, but you're going to feel convicted when you hear this because you got to keep your mouth off people. Everything not your business all the time. And I had to learn that too. Everything not my business all the time. Yes, I said it. It's not my business. It doesn't matter if I want to know. It's just not my business. And you know what I learned as I get older? I don't want to know anyway. If you don't want to tell me, I'm not asking. Unless, unless I'm led to ask you, them fleshy asking days are over. I don't even want to ask you because the way God's alignment is, y'all done went off on a whole tangent, Lord. The way God's alignment is, come on, y'all get with me right here. The way God's alignment is, is simple. When you are on your path and when you are in his perfect will, you don't even have to trip about stuff like that. Cause that stuff just flow. It just move. It just, it just does what it needs to do. It just, it just gently and, 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 and smoothly works. And if you have a hiccup here and there, it's just taken care of. Like God just be on top of it. So please, man, just, whew, that, I don't know. Wow. That thing is heavy. It's still heavy, but I'm gonna move on. Cause we got to wrap this thing up. So here we go, y'all. So like I said, it's going to get quiet for some of you. And if you feel like, Lord, you're quiet. I can't hear what you're saying. Be prepared for God to more than likely give you some information. He's going to give you some instruction on a journey. God is going to be sending you somewhere. Now, if you are called to move and that journey requires a movement, um, I have a book called a little, it's a short little, what, 12 page ebook called God told me to move. Now what? If you have not gotten that, make sure you download it. I'll make sure to link it in the description below so that you can get it. And that'll help you if God is leading you to go on a quest of sorts or a journey of sorts in this season. And that's why you haven't heard anything yet from him because he's preparing to give you that information. Now, here is the last part, y'all. Okay. Now, check this out. The interesting thing is. Once she realized what was going on and then I realized what was going on, right? My friend said to me, she said, well, we need more baskets because these baskets are going to fill up soon. 
Okay? Because mind you, we on a quest now. We on a journey. We trying to get as many bread, gold coins as we could get, right? We rolling. Because remember what I told her. God told us to get it for other people. And I'm saying God, you know, from the dream. But I know in retrospect, that was just God saying, hey, y'all take care of this and you'll be able to help other people. So that's another word for somebody too. Some of you are going to be called to get things together for other people in this season. Don't worry about it if it's not for you right now. It's okay. And I totally understand that. Don't feel bad for wanting your own. Please don't feel guilty by that. A lot of people try to make you feel guilty and say you don't do this, you need to do that. Don't feel bad for wanting your own. That's a perfectly that's a perfectly legitimate feeling to have and it's a healthy ha habit to um excuse me, it's a healthy feeling to have. You should want to aspire to get your own and do your own, okay? Even when it comes to wealth and riches, you should have that desire. There's nothing demonic or ill or wrong about that. The only the only time you get in a, in a trip with that, whenever you get caught up with that is when, um, you start loving money and you start loving things because the love of that money and those things is the root of all evil, the love of money. Okay. Not the money, but the love of it. So if you start to love that and make it an idol and you start to want that selfishly for yourself so badly, well, no, that won't end well. But just to have a healthy desire for it. No, you don't love the money. You love what you can do with the money. And because you love God, you love that you can get the gold coins and you can do kingdom business with those gold coins. And then God will take care of your earthly kingdom and your home as well. So you see how that works? That's a package deal. And it's a beautiful one, I might add. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty dope. So watch this part. When she said that they needed more baskets, I said, well, hey, your mom just said basically to keep catching it and don't worry about it filling up. Right? So I'm like, cool. So she and I, we ran around the park. We started catching the bread that turned into gold. And guess what, y'all? The baskets were bottomless. They never filled up or overflowed. And we would dump the gold on the blankets where the families were. And guess what, y'all? The dream ended where we just kept catching and dumping the coins. We never ran out. Oh, my God. Please catch this for somebody who's hurting right now. My God, please just catch this. Oh, my God. Y'all, we never ran out. It was endless. It was an endless supply. It was literally an endless supply. It was an endless supply. So the last word is quickly. She said that. We just had to keep running around catching it, y'all. It was happening quickly. And we were moving so fast because we didn't know when the rain would stop. We didn't know when the gold rain would stop. The bread that turned into gold, we didn't know when it was when it would stop. So, y'all, this was all inspired by, in the, in, the, in the scriptures, this is Exodus 16. And I want to say something, too. If you heard the last video, which is part three, I did not mention two things. This dream, when when I got this dream, God showed me Exodus 16 about the manna from heaven, the bread raining down from heaven. And in the last dream, I mean, excuse me, in the last video, it was Isaiah 54, 17. And the, that scripture was the anchor scripture for that part of the dream because that was the weapons form, but they won't prosper. And that was connected to the word on crisis. That was connected to the word on crisis. Like I said, if you are in a crisis, you have to remember who Christ is, right? And so I wanted to make sure I repeated that. Go back and listen to the third video and it'll all make sense. I wanted to make sure I said that because I forgot to say it in the last one. Now, going on to this as I close out. So God is going to do this thing quickly. So I want y'all to just catch all of these gems. Run this back and play this again one more time and take notes for those of you who this is resonating with. But I need you to understand something. God is beautiful. God is beautifully brilliant and he makes no mistakes. This is one of the most colorful, beautiful, prophetic dreams I've ever heard of in my life. I have one final video coming up after this one. Now, this one is going to be really quick, but I have a final word on this dream and it's going to bring everything together. I'm not going to do all the details. It's just literally going to be one final grouped prophetic word that God wants me to give separately. And that is going to be the end of this five part series on this prophetic dream. It's raining bread. So today, what did we know? We found out that 
for some of you where it seems quiet, God is about to speak. Number two, he's going to send you on a quest that could be a journey or a move. And number three, it's going to happen quickly. Here is the undercurrent of that. It's going to be abundant. It's going to be consistent. It's going to be flowing and you will not run out. And here is the beautiful thing. Not only will it not run out, whatever this thing is that you're, some of you might be afraid that you're not going to have enough. You might be afraid that it's, that, that, that you're just going to be inadequate and in how this thing goes down, right? But hear me out. Not only did we have unlimited um, gold, manna, whatever you want to call it, coming from heaven, but we had so much, we just kept dumping it on the other families. We kept blessing other People, bless other people in this hour. I can't stress that enough. The entire dream was about God sending help, was about service. It was about all these things. But again, I'm going to get into that in the last video. I need you to catch that. I need you to catch that. And I need you to be encouraged. Because listen, every part of this dream might not be for you. But I'm going to tell you a part that's for every single person. It's about service and it's about being ready and being in position. It doesn't matter where you are in your life. That's always going to matter. The position you're in. If you're in a quiet place, if you're hidden where nobody knows you, if you're by yourself, you're building, you're just, you're just in the lab, nobody knows what's going on. If you're in the front, everybody see you every day, you're, you're out there, you're doing your thing. Your position always matters because there's nothing worse than being in a wrong position. And then when the rain comes down from heaven, you're not there to get it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Okay. I want you to remember this scripture for today. Today's anchor. It is my favorite. One of my favorites. Amos 9, 13 through 15 message Bible. And it says, yes, indeed, it won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim one thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings, blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and hills. I'll make everything right again for my people, Israel. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.